If you like Apple rumors and super sneak peek glimpses at unreleased technology, then stick around because this video is for you. Hi, it's MJ with iFixit, and today we got a mystery package from our friends at Mac Rumors. And if this were real life, I would try to make you guess what it is, but since I'm in here and you're out there, I will just tell you or show you. It looks like an iPad display, but not just any iPad display, one that doesn't quite fit the iPad 2 and has crazy good resolution. Sound familiar yet? If you follow Mac Rumors regularly, this might be old news for you, but I know that some of you don't read Mac Rumors as religiously as some of us. So let's take a closer look at this iPad display together. Now, we can say for certain that this is, in fact, an iPad 3 display, because as of yet, the iPad 3 is unannounced. But what we can say is that the specs fit the rumors about the iPad 3, which, as Dana Carvey's church lady would say, is very convenient. So, just for fun, let's pretend that Apple has announced the iPad 3 and that this happens to be the display for it and extrapolate some likely features and possible design changes about the make-believe iPad. Be ready for lots and lots of air quotes. Upon first looking at it, the iPad 3 the iPad 3 display looks remarkably similar to the display in the original iPad and the iPad 2. They're the same size, the same shape, and they weigh about the same. I guess if we're going to be technical, the iPad 3 display does weigh about 0.6 ounces less than the iPad 2. But who's counting? We did attempt to connect the iPad 3 display to an iPad 2, but the display data cable is slightly larger, making it impossible to even connect to the logic board. So for those of you that are going to email us asking how to install a retina display in your iPad 2, the answer, unfortunately, is you can't. Since we couldn't power it on, we had to take it one step further and use some CSI-like skills to analyze the iPad 3 display under a microscope. We took a couple of images so you can see the comparison between the iPad 2 display and the iPad 3 display, and it's easy to see that the resolution on the iPad 3 display is way more impressive, 2048 by 1536 to be exact which is interesting because when Steve Jobs first introduced the Retina display for the iPhone 4 at WWDC, he defined the Retina display as 300 pixels per inch or greater. The iPad, iPad 3 display is 2048 by 1536, which makes it out to only be like 260 pixels per inch, which technically makes it not a Retina display based on that definition. But before you go filling my inbox with hate mail, there are those that say that because the iPad is typically held further away from one's eyes than an iPhone, that the retina display resolution for an iPad should be more like 240 pixels per inch. It can be argued that it's more about perceived pixel density than actual specs, which is fair enough. Regardless, the iPad, iPad 3 <laughs> display beats the heck out of Blu-ray in full HD, which is pretty amazing. And it kind of makes me wish that my television had a retina display. Other obvious differences to this display include a different style connector on the back, which I mentioned earlier, and a slight relocation of some of the retaining clips. Now, even though this bears some suspiciously familiar markings, it's not as if they stamp this with official iPad 3 display or anything like that. So it kind of makes all of this extrapolation one big, well-educated guess. <laughs> Fortunately for you and me, we shouldn't have to wait too much longer because word on the street is that we can expect an official iPad 3 announcement on March 7th. And of course, you can expect to hear lots and lots from us when it actually does get released. Big, big thank you to our friends at Mac Rumors for being so generous and sharing their iPad 3 display with us. And if you want to stay up to date with all the latest teardowns and repair videos, including our upcoming iPad 3 content, then make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on Twitter at iFixit, and like us on the Facebook. Thanks for watching and happy repairing.